Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my John Wick collection to be showing you what I've been collecting as a huge fan of the John Wick franchise. With that being said, let's get straight on to the showcase. First up is the John Wick poster from the first film that came out in 2014. I got this poster in December of 2020. And yeah, this is just one of the posters I have. Now on to the next one. Here is the second poster I have from John Wick Chapter 2 that came out in 2017. This poster is 27 by 40 and it's framed. It's a glass frame, which is why there's a reflection, but there is another one of my John Wick posters that I have. Over here is my third John Wick poster I have from John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum that came out in 2019. I honestly think this is the best John Wick. Well, obviously it's the best John Wick, but personally, chapter two is my favorite, but here's the poster that I got. I got this in October of 2020, so it is the oldest part of my collection. And this poster is also 27 by 40. Next are my John Wick shirts. I only have two of them so far. I'm definitely gonna get more, but here is my excommunicado shirt that I got in December of 2020. It has the open contract. This is from, I believe, from chapter three, yes. And it has, you know, John Wick excommunicado. It's a really cool shirt. I got it off of Lakers stores. It might be there still, I don't know, but that's where I got it from. But that's uh, one of the shirts I have. Next, I have this shirt from John Wick chapter three. I got this off of Lionsgate. Pretty cool, it has John Wick in the back, you know, the color scheme from chapter three. I really love this one. But yeah, I got it off of Lionsgate and I'll be getting more shirts from them soon. Now, this is currently what my collection looks like. But since I'm showing you guys the items that I have individually, I will be taking it down a little bit. I have every single DVD for all the films that are out currently, including one of the Blu-rays, and I mainly got the Blu-ray even though I don't have a Blu-ray player because it comes with a digital copy. I have every single DVD from every single John Wick installment, and I honestly love the back of the Chapter 2 one. It's just so cool. But yeah, I have all the DVDs, of course, so... Yeah, here are my John Wick Funkos that I have. This is even a Funko, it's just a different variant of a Funko Pop, it's just a soda variant. And I'm gonna show you guys what they look like up close and out of the boxes. So there are three versions of the John Wick Funko Pops. This is the Chase John Wick from John Wick Chapter 2. The Chase one is basically, the Chase Funko is basically a rare Funko, a rare variant of a Funko Pop. So this is, uh, the chase and then this is the normal one from chapter two so the chase just has blood smears on his face you know he has his pistol with his silencer his ring you know pretty cool his suit you know and then here's just the normal one from chapter two basically the same as that one except this one doesn't have blood and this one does so pretty cool and then i have one right here i don't know if it's from chapter three two one or whatever but uh this is uh another john wick you can see his hair is black this time, in a black suit. Same pistol, same silencer, same ring, you know. Uh, and then that one came with his dog right here, which doesn't have a name yet, but yeah. And then here is the Soda Funko, basically a slimmer version. <laughs> and it's really cool. The Chase has blood as well and his hair is kind of like gelled down. It's pretty cool. Still trying to get that one, but yeah. But that's what it looks like. And it came with this collectible soda can. Pretty cool. But yeah, those are what the uh, Funkos look like. And now I'll show you the rest of my collection. So next I have this Continental uh, kind of key replica of John's room that he stayed in in the Continental. And um, nothing special, you know, just wanted to have this because because I love Sharon from John Wick. He's a really cool concierge. I really like his accent and stuff. And uh, I really love the continent on the world of John Wick. So I got this from Etsy. Next, I have a bloody pencil. As you know, John Wick killed three men in a bar with a pencil. But in chapter two, we actually saw him kill two people with a pencil. And I made this uh, at home. This is homemade. You know, I put marker, like red marker on it. There used to be like blood down over here, but it kind of dried up. But yeah, I made a homemade bloody John Wick pencil. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. That. So I basically saved the best for last at this point. Um, starting with this figure that I have. It's a John Wick figure. It's a Diamond Select figure. It's the version. It's the one with him running out the door. This is from the first John Wick with that, you know, that scene in the red circle when he's running out and stuff. I do not remember how much this was, but I really like this figure. It's really cool. It has the blood over there, his ring, the gun, and it does have a little bit of likeness. It kind of looks like Keanu himself, but it stands really nice in my collection. As you can see, here's the door, that fire exit, you know? And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty sick for how much it was. Like, it's just awesome. But yeah, this is Diamond Select. One of the coolest 
parts of my collection, I say. Next you have John Wick's car, his Mustang, Boss 429. It's actually not that model, but it's still pretty cool. It's actually this model right here, but you know, still really cool. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. I might take it out to just to show you all what it looks like, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, this is a smaller version. And there's a bigger version that you can get, which is really long. But I just got the small one. I'm gonna get the Chevy that John rode and drove in Chapter 2. So, this is his Mustang. And now I've saved the best for last. Here, I have the Blood Oath marker from John Wick Chapter 2. I got this from Sideshow Collectibles. It was $100. All because of the detail. I'll go ahead and take it out to show you guys what it looks like. But look at that silver. Like, that detail is so great. I don't think anyone else who's done a John Wick showcase of their collection has this others have the cheap one and i have the og hundred dollar one <laughs> so it's up to you ultimately as a fan which one you want to get i got the real detailed one which is an exact replica that was used in the movie chapter two so you know look at that silver you know of course they wouldn't have the prick you know <laughs> like they do in the movie you would prick your finger and place it over there to do your blood off and it also comes with four continental coins. Go ahead and take those out. And these are props that look exactly like off of the movies. And they're kind of heavy too. So I got my continental coins and I also got one I also got the Blood of Marker from John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Now, this is my favorite one, honestly, because I love Sophia. You know, it also comes with four continental coins. Same thing as that. But here's the marker, the Arabic Blood of Marker. Sophia's marker. And I really like this one. It opens up more than that one. You know, I love the detail. And yeah, that came from Chapter 3. So yeah. So the chapter three, Sophia's blow marker, it came in this box right here. This was about like 65 bucks off of Big Bad Toy Store. And you know, the theme of chapter three is, you know, how reaction has consequences. So, and I really like that. And the chapter two one came and this one, you know, you stab the devil in the back, as Winston said. So yeah, I can get it from Chronicle Collectibles slash Saito Collectibles or Big Bad Toy Store, but it will be a hundred dollars just to let you guys know. I almost forgot a little small thing. This is the Adjudicator Medallion or coin or whatever you want to call it from John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. I'll go ahead and take it out for you guys so you can get a closer look at it. This is the medallion slash coin the Adjudicator used. Basically, I think it's a continental coin on steroids. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool, even though I despise the Adjudicator. Hopefully they die in Chapter 4. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like. And this is not the cheap one. Not at all. I almost forgot about this pillow that I have. This is the last thing in my collection. It's a continental pillow. I got it from Lionsgate. It's really soft. At first, it's very hard, but once you sleep on it for a while, it softens. And the back says, Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. Yeah. So this is my complete John Wick collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully this maybe inspires you to start collecting from your favorite movie series. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.